What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in a previous video, we showed you charge times for these two six amp hour batteries. Yes, these are both six amp hour batteries. That means they have 120 watt hours of juice packed into them. Now, they're both the wall. Yes, but why do they look different? Because one's a flex volt battery and one's a 20 volt max XR battery. Here's the deal. They're the same watt hours though. This battery, this flex volt battery, which operates depending on its load and the tool it's placed on, it operates 20 volt max or 60 volt max voltages. Whereas this operates only in that 20 volt max capacity. In a previous video, we charged both of these batteries on two of these fast chargers side by side. And the reality of the charging situation was shocking. The length that it took and the temperatures that they charged at. If you didn't see that video and you're intrigued, go on over here, check that out. But one of the reasons we felt that maybe there was such a difference between these was because of the cells that's inside making up the battery architecture. We're gonna open these babies up and see what's going on in there. It's coming right up after this word from our sponsor, VCG Construction. If you want, go on over to our merch store at vcgconstruction.com forward slash store. Maybe you pick up some tech shirts, t-shirts, hats, stickers. I don't know, check it out. Now, why are we opening these up? I, quite frankly, I feel like the, the flexible battery's been opened in the past. These six amp hour XR batteries, we posed the question in the previous video that I linked over there. And some of you, we asked, we said, hey, you know what cells are in here? Some of you said the 18650s. Some of you said 21700s. Uh, quite frankly, I, I feel like I can't trust any of these. I just have to do it myself. I have to open it up. But for comparison's sake, I want to open up the flex bolt first. And here's the deal. Size-wise, they seem very similar. When you, when you pick them up, you don't realize, though, that the flex bolt's actually heavier. You, know, you can see that the XR is wider, okay, but shorter. Flex bolt's taller but thinner. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what cells are in this flex volt battery. And it weighs two pounds, 4.2 ounces. And the sheer shape of this XR lends me or leads me to believe what's in here as well. But this is two pounds, 1.5 ounces. So you got same amount of watt hours, but it's lighter which would lead me to believe that there are those highly advanced 21700 cells in here, but we don't go guessing around here. We don't leave anything up to chance. We, we, we'd like to find out 100%. Now, if you were going to pull apart your flex volt battery, which I don't suggest you do, because of uh, safety first, okay? You would need a security T10. I love pulling the batteries apart because I like to see if I can get in close enough. I like to see the color of the cells. This way we could play a little guessing game. I tell you the color of the cells, you tell me the manufacturer of the cells down in the comments section below. I love it. We have lots of fun around here. Boom! Cover came right off. I will tell you this. I'm gonna tell you that there's a lot of, look at all the wizardry. I'll assume that's all switching because I'm a contractor. I'm not an engineer. You know, I bang, I bang nails into walls for a living. You know what I mean? God, you know, I don't sit behind a desk. Well, actually, as a small business owner, I do. I got into contracting because I like working with tools. It seems like I work with telephones and emails and paper, paperwork more than, more than anything nowadays. But um, I do sit behind a desk. I don't know what I'm saying. What can you do? What I was getting to was I'm not an engineer. 
So I don't know exactly what's here on this PCB. Is that what it is? Printed circuit board, but it's not really a board. It's, it's, it's a tape. I'll assume that this is the switching that allows these batteries to go from series to parallel or parallel to series. Let us know down in the comments section below. Look at that there. Now there has been instances where we have used some DeWalt tools. They were 20 volt max tools. And we ran them with flex volt batteries. And I don't know, some of you said it was coincidentally. They actually, you know, smoked or broke with the flex volt battery. And um, a lot of you in the comments section said it was because we were using the flex volt batteries with those tools, which didn't make sense to us, okay? Because DeWalt says that they're backwards compatible, but some of you said it. And the reality was mo on multiple occasions, we did have tools that, that broke from, you know, while flex volt batteries were on there. Not saying that they broke because flex volt batteries were on there, but they did break while flex volt batteries were on there. I will say this, the cells are indeed blue. Lots going on, whoa. So we got the cover off, but from the size of them, they look like 18650s to me. Let's see if we can get a closer look at the six amp hour XR battery. This way, we could do a size comparison. Maybe if we could see the cells a little bit better, they will let us know. Because quite frankly, you know, I don't know exactly the dimensions of an 18650 cell, but I know that 18650 cells and 21700 cells are very common cells used in lithium ion battery packs. So I am going to use an educated guess and say that these are 18650 cells. If these cells are larger, then that will lead me to believe that these are 21700 cells. And we can kind of see the size of the cell. Okay. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, you, you can see immediately so this array, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 650 cells. One, two, three, four, five, yep. 18, 650 cells. It gives you what you need for 20 volt, 60 volt max, and 120 watt hours. This pack, from what I'm seeing, is constructed, I gotta tell you, it's much smaller PCB, because we don't have to worry about all that switching from series to parallel. We got a little, little, little PCB there. Don't try this at home, kids. Now, you'll see two, four, six, eight, ten. The array, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, 21,700 cells. The cells are white. They also are Samsung cells. Boom, look at that. They are, you could see, it says Sam. I, I, I don't, unless, unless Samson. Samsonite is making cells. I'll assume that these are Samsung cells. And you can see the width difference, okay? And the actual, ah, you're not gonna maybe, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's not gonna show up well on camera. But the diameter of the cells as a whole are much smaller. Well, you know, the, the crazy part is, is that if you look at the cost of the two packs, you know, you, you look at them and you, you figure to yourself, how can it be that one costs one and one costs the other? Well, look at the difference. These are 18650 cells. They're a less expensive cell, but look at all of the extra wizardry 
okay? The extra, all the extra PCB and control that goes into the switching to make this pack go from 20 to 60 volts. On the flip side here, we have the six amp hour, 20 volt max, that has way less of a PCB, no real switching, it's just the cells, but they are 21700 cells and they're more expensive. So that's how we arrive at the cost for these. And let me know what you think about the cost on these two packs. Do you think over time the Flexvolt packs will come down or go up and vice versa for the six amp hour pack? Do you like the idea that we pulled it apart to confirm that there's 21700 cells in here because we got a lot of comments that said 18650 cells in this pack. We wanted to know, we wanted to lay eyes on it ourselves. And if you like that, then smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here, you're not already, make sure you get and subscribe and tap in the bell because we do fun stuff like this all the time. Never miss it. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. I gotta put these back together now. We'll see you on, we're gonna do a whole nother video where I, I reassemble these. <laughs> See you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.